This is Norman Patterson from the Yellow Jacket Expert. Today is May 30th, 2023, and I'm in upstate New York. Um, and this is very interesting because these people are getting stung from their planter and they actually have a yellow jacket nest. A, uh, these are Eastern yellow jackets or, or Vespa maculifrons. I didn't believe it because this is very early for a yellow jacket nest but um, I'll show you what's going on here. It's pretty fascinating. So what we have here, that white bunch there that you see, that's a, that's a yellow jacket nest. That's what the in-ground yellow jacket nest look like. So, um, you know, there's a queen. I just saw her. I don't know if I'll get the benefit of seeing her again, but those, there are yellow jackets down in there. Let's wait and see if we could see any before. Oh yeah, there goes one. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll set up my phone. And, uh, let me disturb them a little bit. This is quite the, quite the phenomenon. another yeah boy this this is really fascinating so this queen probably came out during the heat wave we had way back in April and she it was warm enough here for her to establish a nest so you know I tell people to look for the traffic and that's exactly what you need to watch out for No, I don't know if I'm going to bump it or not. I'll show people when I set up my trap. So yeah, here they are. I uh, bumped the nest a little bit, and there are certainly some, some uh, yellow jackets in there. And I'm unique from anyone else because I do not use pesticides, chemicals, uh, poisons, or anything like that. And these insects will be used for sting allergy patients. Um, there are some guys using vacuum methods. They don't use them for medical purposes, like the Hornet King guy. He seems to be a pretty good guy, I like him. I watch his videos. Um, he probably learned a bit from me. Maybe I'd get him to collect for me, I don't know. If you're watching this, uh, give me a call or send me an email or something at Norman at the Yellow Jacket Expert. So let me start up this, this trap. Oh, there goes the queen again. So I'll start this up and you'll get an idea. So these are the yellow jackets. Uh, you can see the queen in there. This uh, carton is not that great for seeing that big one there, that's the queen. Yeah, you're getting a little glimpse of her. That's her right there. And the rest are other yellow jackets that were in that nest. Pretty wild. That was a good amount. I've never seen this many this early in the year. This is the brood chamber that I pulled out of it. It doesn't seem like much, but it really is for May 30th, 2023. The um, captive brood there will be hatching soon and all the larvae that are there, there's eggs inside of there. So yeah, this would have been a monster nest this year and I was able to remove that for the homeowner. 